sugar candy. Yeah, I think like all my performances, I start from a very personal point that I want to comment on, something that I experience myself. Um, anyway, the female theme, I've already done many pieces with it. So it's ongoing research, I have to say, also ongoing interest of mine. Um, and I think there's always a lot to say about this theme. So it just has so many perspectives and yeah, there's a lot of work to be done for equality <laughs> of women. Why Pink Portal? It was about the things that I didn't know about my own body. Becoming a mother, becoming pregnant, uh, also having a miscarriage, giving birth, uh, what happens to your body after birth, but also to you psychologically and physically, emotionally, all those things that you actually don't know about. You, there's so, so much you don't know about. Because I'm sweet on candy. And you have to like kind of invent the wheel <laughs> every time. I guess women have to invent the wheel with, yeah. Every woman who has a child has to invent the wheel somehow, find out how it is. Uh, and I would have wanted to have that information beforehand, just like Blasé, this is how it's gonna be, this is how much it's gonna hurt, this is how... Yeah, maybe more about all the negative stuff. Yeah? We don't talk about them. But I think it's important to know that you don't then feel so lonely and also overwhelmed by everything that happens to you and your body. The stories are the inspiration, also all the interviews we're doing. But I think it has to do more about getting some information across that's not talked about enough. Also just the, the sexuality of women, how you orgasm, what is the clitoris, the whole history of it. But I think that needs to be more out there and more in the sexual education of women. The education of women for, for their own pleasure. A world where the importance of girls, young women, is as important as young men. <laughs> so also the pleasure of women is as important as the pleasure of men. The opinions of women are as important as the opinions of men. <laughs> I mean, I was also pretty late myself even finding out about how the clitoris looks like, what, it, what the organ actually is and how big it is and um, how much it actually does uh, for the pleasure of women. Yeah, I want to make a performance that's also educating a bit the audience, also in a fun way, but uh, talking about a serious topic, but also with humor. Yeah, what's come, become pretty clear during all these interviews is that the amount of uh, unwanted sexual advances, abuse, it's a, yeah, it's a daily thing for all women, all the time, every day, everywhere. But Pink Portal is of course a nickname of uh, the vulva. There's always kind of nicknames, uh, shame around it, schaamlippen. <laughs> yeah, in Finland it's also schaamlippen, yeah, shame lips. I started to research Pink Portal by researching my own motherhood and giving birth. And I pretty soon within this uh, research noticed that that's actually a theme on itself. The motherhood, becoming a mother, uh, what does it mean physically, mentally, emotionally? So that's gonna be probably the ne next female chapter focusing on motherhood. Pink Portal is more about the whole um, history um, from the first menstruation to the menopause and everything that happens in between. <laughs> <laughs>